I didn't mean to say that at all, but of course that's gonna make the cut. I know, I get it. Brought it back, mother Is that offensive though? Uh, oh, you're rolling again. I think people will be offended. Seriously, cut that. By the way, I keep trying to look at the camera, but that's the microphone. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not as stupid as it sounds. Though I have to admit, it sounds pretty stupid. <laughs> Drink up, you drunk. The truth is under attack, people. <laughs> I need a second. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Six Beers of Politics. I'm Greg Shapiro, what? old Jew number one. My name is Pat Rosenfeld. I'm a much more youthful Jew. And this is Six Beers of Politics. We're gonna drink six beers while we talk politics, hopefully edit it down to something watchable, and then after six beers, we will stop talking politics, which is what everyone should do. The green theme of uh, a green planet, but a not so green America. Trump pulling out of the Paris Accord. Paris, who needs it? Okay. Been there, grabbed that. <laughs> my my first take was that uh, that to all the independent voters and all the you know third party voters, uh, like everybody's like yeah you know Hillary or Trump you know I don't want to vote for the lesser of two evils like that. <laughs> it turns out I guess there was a little bit of a difference between the two. Paris Paris Accord is is still going on. It's just without the United States. Wait, but how awesome is it that all those uh, you know mayors. Yeah. And companies and states are like, no, no, we're going to do it anyway. Sure. Trump can't stop us from trying to avoid, you know, man-made climate change. Well, I just, I just think it's amazing that so many people on the right are just, they just don't believe in the science. When Trump pulled out of the Paris Climate Accord, that was a victory for two guys specifically, Charles and David Koch. Uh, it is Koch. The right? Koch, the Koch, whatever. Well, but it's because it's fun to say the Koch brothers, but they're No, really no, I put an O in there, but not cock. I'm not like the South Korean woman saying, give me cock, I want cock. <laughs> Which South Korean woman said that? It's a great video, you can look it up. It's like how to speak English from South Korean expert. Uh, lesson one, how to order a cock. I want cock. Please give me cock. Do you have cock? And ask them the price of cock. Uh, and what was she trying to order? Coke. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy uh, from the Guardian newspaper who wrote about how uh, this uh, campaign of, of misinformation, like Trump's victory, huge uh, victory as well for two guys in particular, the, the Charles and David Koch brothers. And now that he's pulled out of the Paris Accord, again, huge victory for just these, these two guys who are responsible for, and if you go through this article, you can see all the great quotes. I mean, um, you know, the, the, the campaigns of misinformation that uh, are so well orchestrated and so well funded. Basically, the truth just got outspent by, he says, an order of magnitude. It's, a, it's these think tanks that actually turn out to be, you know, corporate lobbyists. It's bloggers that turn out to be corporate lobbyists. I mean, the, the, the fucking Tea Party. citizens groups. It, 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 yeah. the, the Tea Party. But people are like, well, you know the great thing about being in the Tea Party. We yeah. all remember the Tea Party. What was it, 2010 is when the Tea Party started? Yeah, 2010 taxed enough already. Yeah, and uh, and so and but tea you know party. the best thing about the Tea Party is that there's nobody in charge because it's really a people's you know kind of a movement. People's grassroots movement. Yeah, it's a people's grassroots movement that was funded by the I want Kalk brothers. Yeah, it's not just that the climate is a victim here, but it's the truth in general. Last thing for my agenda is uh, Trump shooting himself in the foot on Twitter. Uh, for his Twitter, he recently tweeted like, uh, the mainstream media, the fake MSM doesn't, well, you, you should say this, Trump. That's how we, oh yeah, go I'll, ahead. I'll, 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 we'll Cyrano de Bergerac this one. Yeah. The fake MSM. The fake MSM mainstream wants, media. Wants me to stop tweeting. Wants me to stop tweeting. But I'm going to get the truth. But I am going to get the truth through. Unfiltered. Unfiltered. Now, here's the funny part. We, in the mainstream media, we, because I'm in the mainstream media, most of us out there, we love it when he tweets because he shoots himself in the foot every time. 
the, the, the reason that the courts haven't allowed his travel ban is because he said in the campaign that it's a travel ban. And he's got a team of lawyers working around the clock to try and... It's not a travel ban. It's not a travel no, ban. No, that, that's the incorrect terminology. So, but, so Trump tweets, no, it's a, tra it's a travel ban. I don't want to call it by its political correct terms. It's a travel ban. Then he retweets it with a all caps travel ban. Travel case, ban. In case you didn't read it before, it's a travel ban. Which, which <laughs> even if one of his lawyers was like, he may have tweeted that, but clearly it was a mistake. He no, wouldn't no. repeat that. <laughs> All cats travel bad. Greg finishes last beer. I'm afraid we gotta go. You have six beers. You gotta stop talking about politics. Uh, my name is Pep. I'm Greg. And behind the camera is Emil. Emil Strakeboudier. Nicely done. We will uh, we'll be back again, and hopefully you'll be back with us. See ya. Paris Accord, by the way, will go on, uh, you know, Paris will go on, because she's, was... Celine Dion is French-Canadian? Did I, I, there's not even, well that just didn't sound like the song. Oh. <laughs>